kingdom of God is like this silent thing working through the leaven. We're leaven working through the flour, moving, moving, moving. And so they got people like you and me that work in every sector of the marketplace, taking the kingdom message, building businesses, having inventions, writing songs. Leaven's work and 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 You understand what I'm saying? And so let me share with you just a few things that you may not know that you're not going to get through the news. And working in federal law enforcement, I have access to a lot of records and stuff, and I know that the FBI's Uniform Criminal Report has indicated over years and years there's been a precipitous decline in violent crime and domestic abuse in this country. Not going to be on the news. Why? It doesn't sell. Murders that don't happen don't get on the news. Robberies that don't happen don't get on the news. You feel me? All right? And so wars that don't happen don't get on the news. And so we see stuff like with Syria and some of the terrible things that are going on over there. But do you know that there is less of the world in war and conflict right now than ever? And the kingdom of God has, has worked its way into so many things. Do you know that most of the early hospitals were connected to a ministry? There were monastic orders largely, St. Basil uh, and some of the others. The term hospital comes from hostel of God, hotel of God. All of the Ivy League colleges started out as seminaries to preach the gospel. And so the gospel of the kingdom has gone forth and sometimes it's, it, it, it's you know, got waylaid. Like, you know, unfortunately, a lot of those, um, you know, Princeton, Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth, uh, Cornell, a lot of them have become completely distracted from the gospel. But you know what? Others have come up. And so who cares? If, if, that's what they're, if that's where they're going, that's where they're going. But there's lots of great schools, lots of great colleges, new ones being birthed every year that have a kingdom message on their, uh, you know, on their billboard. And so the gospel is going forth. Crime has precipitously gone down. That doesn't mean that it doesn't still happen. Listen, I don't live under a rock. I understand what's happening. But at the same time, we cannot think that the world is going to hell in a handbasket because it's not. Did you know that the gospel message is going forth all over the world and, and it's multiplying fast? Uh, China, every day, it's estimated that 28,000 people convert to Christ. In 1950, there were an estimated 1 million Christians in China. Today, there's an estimated 100 million. China, at the current rate of the gospel spreading, is if, if it continues at the current pace in 2030, they will be the nation in the world with the most Christians of any other nation. In 1940, it was thought that the gospel could not penetrate South Korea. Today, South Korea is thought to be 40% Christian. Some of you will remember the name Yeonji Cho. He took the gospel to Seoul, Korea. Today, there's an estimated 7,000 Christian churches in Seoul, Korea. Now, we've all seen in the news where, the, you know, North Korea, ooh, ooh, North Korea, right? <laughs> oh, they could get nukes, you know. Let's, let's think practically here just for a second. Does anybody really think Kim Jong-un wants to be turned into a greasy spot in the earth? All right, so if he got nukes or if he has them currently, what do you think he thinks would happen if he attacked somebody? We'd turn him into a greasy spot in the earth. Right? Well, that's not fair. That ain't even a fair fight. That's right. I'm a retired military officer. We don't want a fair fight. We want to beat the living stuffing out of you so that you'll never think you'll ever, ever, even remotely consider messing with us again. I don't want a fair fight. I want to beat the living stuffing out of you. So you'll never even think about it again. If you think about it, you'll repent. 
All right, and so, so listen, I understand the news keeps people worked up about this, but he's not, he's pretty irrational, but he's not a complete moron. And so, so all of this is about, all of, the, all of that rattling is, it's about influence, okay? And so, but let me ask you this, with China's influence of the kingdom and South Korea's influence of the kingdom and being Christianized, what do you think will happen if the fence between North and South Korea is dissolved like North, uh, East and West Germany was? I'm telling you, the gospel will pour in there like a flood. And it's uh, actually, it's already happening because Westerners, we can't go into North Korea as missionaries because what happens is what happened to the three guys that just got released. You know, they're thrown in, in, uh, in prison camps and, you know, making little rocks out of big rocks. But guess who can go in there? Who's their biggest trading partner? China. Guess who's sending missionaries into North Korea even now? China. Do we hear about it? Any six-part miniseries? Is it in the news? What did Christ say when he healed, healed the, the leper? He's like, go, go on, just go do the right thing. Don't say nothing. Shh. Right? And so the kingdom message is going forth, and people are getting saved. In Latin America, it's estimated that 35,000 people give their heart to Christ every day. Every day. It's estimated that between 2.5 and, and 3 million people convert to Christ every year. Christianity is the fastest growing faith on the globe. The earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, just like the waters cover the... Earth.